Hi, welcome back aboard the Cruiser Olympia here at Independent Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. My name is Kevin and today I'm going to be touring you around the boilers and the coal bunkers. Olympia is a heart and on a steam powered warship like her that would be the boilers. Boilers create steam that run all the major systems on Olympia and uh, that would provide power to the main engines, to ash hoists, to general machinery. It would also produce steam for the kettles in the galley that create food and heat for the crew in all the crew quarters. Deep in the bowels of the ship are six Scotch fire tube boilers, one of which is right here. This one's about 15 feet in diameter and 21 feet long and is riddled with furnaces on both ends. Uh, these boilers produce steam by burning coal. Coal, of course, is a natural material with a high energy potential, and when it's burned, creates very hot gases. These hot gases were used inside these boilers to boil water and to create steam. The steam would be injected into narrow steam lines, and those steam lines would deliver that energy source to machines, uh, to the galley, and other places throughout the vessel that require steam. There is a large engineering force employed on Olympia. There's about 140 men in charge of all the engines and boilers uh, on this vessel, and about 40 of them were called firemen. The firemen would be in these spaces directly firing each of these furnaces by hand with shovels, and then you have 40 other guys called coal passers who'd be moving the coal, physically moving the coal from bunkers throughout the ship into this space and to other fire rooms throughout the boiler spaces. Olympia's boilers were immensely hungry and can burn up to 17 tons of coal per hour when the ship was running at full steam, a full speed ahead. Because of this, ships tend to have a cruising speed. Olympia's was about 11 knots, where you could save a whole lot more coal. But because of the needs of the boiler system, they had to employ a humongous storage system for coal, called the coal bunker system. Olympia carried 1,200 tons of coal maximum in 38 coal bunkers like this one that we're in right now. Inside this space, there was bags and baskets of coal that would be moved around manually by a team of coal passers, guys that would basically work in this space 24-7. It was extremely dirty, it's very hard to operate in here, and there's very little light. Moving coal around ships like Olympia was extremely difficult. It was hot, dirty, and cramped. When you had the coal ship or take on coal, to refuel the vessel, you had to use these long wing passages that have hatchways like the one below me here, above me, and also these coal bunkers along the sides like the one we were in before, were all used to coal the vessel. You had to move coal from up above, down below, and you had to use the entire ship's crew to do that. Having the coal on board led to having coal dust just about everywhere, so you're always inhaling coal dust that was always in the crew compartments and other spaces on the vessel. Because of that, the engineering crew was paid a little bit more because of the hardships involved with working in these lower spaces. Thank you for joining me on a brief tour of the coal bunkers and boiler rooms of Olympia. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for us. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And uh, until next time, take care.